Today, we're going to talk about one of the biggest mods that we've ever gotten in Farming Simulator. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today, we're going to talk about three new mods that we've got for Farming Simulator. we got the Homer HR6 right here. So this is the smallest beat header. However, it kind of rounds out the family. We'll talk about that. And then we got an update to the Lemkin Zircon 1030. So now, of course, we have the 3 meter, which is this one. We have a 4 and a 5 meter versions of this model. Plus, we got Machine Hall. Literally the largest mod, I think the largest mod that we've ever gotten in Farming Simulator. This thing is massive, it's huge, and I've got an idea with it. Let's check them out. First things first, let's talk about this bead header. So you're going to go into Tools. Then you're going to go over to Beat Technology. And then you're just going to pop over here. So we had the HR12 in game. We got the HR9 about a week ago. And now we have the HR6. This is a 2.8 meter, roughly 3 meter version of it. $58,000, 9 meter working speed. and works with the Terra DOS T430 which is what we've got it hooked up to right now. Now, you can also use this with the larger one. You don't have to use it with just this one. Just like a header on a combine, you can use these heads as long as you've got the right thing with any of these guys right here. You can use the Panther 2, the T440. You could use the Tiger 6 or the T430. These are all the official mods that we've gotten in game. You may have something else, and that will work just fine as long as it's Beat Harvester. You're good to go. So anything special about this? Well, not really. Um, minus one little detail. It goes quick. Oh, yeah. Nine miles per hour. You can see these guys over here go seven miles per hour. This will rock at nine miles per hour. So a little bit faster. Uh, I think that's because it's not picking up as much, which allows the harvester to process more at a time. Very cool. I like that. So if you got a small little bit, no header for this, by the way. No header whatsoever. You don't need one. It's as big as the darn thing is. Check this out. So we can hop in here, and we can fold it if we really need to. Ah, yeah. Gotta love that. So nice, easy for transport. It is a little bit more narrow than the harvester is itself. Easy to maneuver around. Perfect. Next up, we have an update to the Lemkin Zircon 1030. Update 1.1 is new decals, new parts, and optimized files. So there you go by STV Modding. Gotta love it, gotta love it. Nice, easy, it works. Uh, it is a Power Harrow. So you're going to find this in Tools, Power Harrows, and right here, Zircon 1030. $10,500, 3 meters, 9 mile per hour working speed, 120 horsepower needed. Can't do anything to it. It is what it is. So jump out. Let's double check it. Make sure it works. We'll drop it down. Turn it on. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. Very easy. Let's see. We've got a plowed up field right here. This is basically all it does is cultivates. If you guys have never used a power harrow before, it is a cultivator. So you can see behind us here, the ground is being cultivated. It works the way it should. There you go. Let's see. Cannot fast farm with it. If you guys are curious there, we also have the arms that we can drop down. And we can create fields with it if you're on PC. Console players, unfortunately, you can't do that. But here we go. We'll drop a ridge marker. Unfortunately, we've already got that plowed up, so it's not going to make much of a difference for us. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, there we go. So you can see it kind of drops a little plow mark in the field. Kind of just shows you where to go. Kind of cool, we're tearing this field up. Now, we can drop another ridge marker. All we gotta do is hit up again, and it will drop another ridge marker for us on the right-hand side. You might be able to see that there. And then hit it again, and it'll bring it up. Now, if you guys are on PC, and you have the cultivate to, or plow to cultivate mode, you can come over here and hit that button, allow create fields. Now you can create fields with it. So that's kind of cool. I like this, this is a neat little mod. Works well, um, does what it's supposed to do. That's all we ever wanted. And we come to our third mod for today. This is Machine Hall. 
a large machine hall ideal for the modern contractor of today with a lounge, workshop, and laundry, which is without function. Of course it is. So let's turn on everything. Let's go right here. Let's find out what this does. And I know exactly what that does. Turns on all the lights around. So we have full lighting everywhere. We give you a little bit of tour of the Goham Co. headquarters. I'm kidding. <laughs> so we got a coffee room here. Anything we can pick up? Anything we move, throw around? No, nope, not really. Let's see. If you're curious when you work, there you go. There's your schedule. Rock through here. You can go upstairs. However, there's nothing up here. And we cannot access these doors. Can't open them. But we can open this one. Look at that. How cool is that? Look at this space. I have the lights turned on already. If you don't have them turned on, come over here. Boop. There are only four doors that lead to inside. One there, one there. And then one which I already have open. And then right here. You're going to see these little guys right here. These little kind of red button things. It says halt. Yep. Come up and hit B or circle on that. There you go. That's so cool. <laughs> so I was thinking at first that all of the doors would be able to be opened. Unfortunately, no. So we can get the lights back on here. And we'll get this last door open. So you get huge machinery in here. I doubt that you can fit a, any... <laughs> I doubt you can fit a big bud with tools. Don't even try it. It ain't gonna work. You're not fitting it through there. Uh, if you do, send me a picture. Let me know. Um, otherwise, we've got two other entrances in. And they're pretty spectacular, I think, because they kind of give you an extra little space in between. Check this out. So we come in here, park our vehicle there, come right here. And you can customize. It has its own workshop, built-in workshop. Lights in every room. Find the black box right there with the silver outline. And then come right here and open that. So you can either drive into here or drive in from outside. Very cool. Not only that, we have another one here. It's supposed to be set up like a wash bay. Unfortunately, I uh, can't find anywhere in here other than just turning lights on and off to do that. Now, I do have the Place Anywhere mod turned on, so I'm going to try to place down a wash bay, and of course, naturally, we can't. So... It would be kind of cool if there was one in here. They probably just were not able to. Totally cool. What? There's a bunch of birds. Get out of my go him co office birds. So there you are. Nice, easy, very, very cool. And I really, really, really like this mod. That's about all there is to it, to be honest with you. Like it's it's huge, but it's just a big open area. Um I'm you didn't learn, did you? I'm going to try. There's two things that I want to try and see if we can fit in here. Okay, so maybe there's three things I want to see if I can get in here. Uh, first is, um, well, this is actually my modded version of the case. Can't fit it through that door. I imagine all the doors are exactly the same. But it would be nice if we could, you know, park these guys in here. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Ha! Get it. Next one is one of my favorite tractors. And we can't get it in there it's uh yep just not gonna work t9 with duels can't put it in there man Arr. this is not turning out well what about the modded ideal can we fit that in here the answer is yes yes you can i will say this once you get these uh big big machinery in here it kinda, they take up a bit of space i will say that they take up a bit of space there's one harvester. Now, of course, we can get more in here. We could probably fit 10 harvesters in here, but just be aware, once you get big machinery in here, it may be a little bit more difficult to move around. Just keep that in mind. I don't know if I told you guys where the shed's gonna be. Uh, you're gonna find that in sheds, and then easily go over. If you have the Euro, Euro Tunnel Pack installed, you're gonna go past that. Just a few, and there it is, $200,000. It's a little pricey, uh, I must say. It's a bit expensive. It's cool. Uh, and it, if you delete it, it also puts this really weird looking block down. Nonetheless, there you go. We also have a brand new map now available on all platforms. Welcome to Meadow Grove. 
which is a UK-based map. All animals are built into the map, like Farming Simulator 17, but you can add and place your own animal pastures anywhere else. No farms can be sold, but there is a placeable area if you wish to build your own yards. Custom lighting engine XML, new water shader, animated objects, 62 lands. This map includes all Farming Simulator 19 features, 6 yards, 1 arable, 1 cows, 1 pig, 1 sheep, and chickens, 1 storage yard, and 1 horse's yard. 5 cell points, BGA, Top Hill, Grain and Wood, Wood Chips, Meadow Grove Dairies, which is milk and eggs, Meadow Grove Stores, All Grains, Meadow Grove Spinnery, Wool. 83 fields, small and medium, transport missions and field missions, and multi-terrain angle ready. I assume multi-terrain angle is only for PC, however. This has been on PC for quite a little while now. However, this is now on console. So we all have it, so we can finally play it on this channel. Yeah, I'm excited! So, uh, he says, I hope you like this map. This is by Nathan6930. Love you, bro. Yeah, yeah. But with that being said, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. Now, please subscribe. If you got any questions, drop those down in the comment section below. And also, if you got any ideas for a future video, I'd be happy to entertain them. Drop them down in the comment section and let me know what do you want to see in Farming Simulator 19. But with that being said, I hope you have a great day and we will see you later. Peace.